Hello, and welcome to another episode of Building This City. This is Soap the Great here. Alright, so let me tell you where I am. Um, actually, you might be able to guess from the looks of this. I've got a little uh, safe house built in a cave system, and I told you at the start of this channel that I probably would not do caving on camera, and I'm actually going to save that for later. I'm heading back to Spawn Village, and uh, I'm going to take some resources back. Let me just show you those real quick. Um, that was three diamonds, and I made that into a pickaxe, and you notice I've got three levels, and it's time to uh, do some enchanting. Along the way, um, I'm going to show you this spider spawner farm. Let me, uh, let me get ready here with my uh, weapons. Okay, so we'll see what we have when I come out. Got a spider that is... on my tail, and I think I saw a creeper, yes. We are gonna get away from there. Yes, uh... Not a big fan of either of those guys. Can't say that I am. Um, while we have the day gate open, I'm going to show you the outside and show you some of the stuff I want to do with it. Let's make sure everybody is gone from around here, though. Take the fall damage. Got a cow. Um, reportedly, there was... Oh, he's down there, I think. Let's just make sure. Where is he? Yeah, I think we got somebody caught. Yeah. Um, m one of my uh, co-workers, a fellow on the server here, who's actually currently logged in, um, let me know that the lava was no longer showing up. So there's a little bug in the system that we're going to debug on camera. Um, so I'll get to show you that, but um, if you notice here, I covered this all up um, off camera, um, and uh, ooh, ooh. Um, I didn't want to show you that on camera because um, I didn't quite have it figured out, and there was a lot of jumping around and figuring out what was going on, so um, I really didn't want to subject you to that. Um, in the meantime, let's see. Uh, you know what? I need to make some ladders because uh, I forgot one particular thing when I was building this and that was to replace the, uh, the ladder that was on the outside that I took care of. So we'll get some of those real quick. Um, let me just pardon me for a moment while I take care of this. So we got a bunch of sticks there. That need six of those. All right. I think that is sufficient for now. Ah, uh, yeah. Put those up. Okay. I think that somebody is caught under in that little trap, if you remember that. Um, so anyway, we need to take care of that. And then we'll come on up. And there we go. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to pop back down this guy. If I can make it. Take that. Uh, I've got plans for that one. Take the fall damage. Okay. Cow in the way. Having a little bit of trouble here with some block lag, 
Don't know what's causing that. Oh, no. half slab. What's that? Pressure plate. No. Need another set of those. Pardon me, folks. There we go. Um, no. Throw those out for now. Did I get them? Yeah, okay. And we'll just do another set here. Again, sorry folks. That is, he's gonna get on my nerves. Uh, we'll take care of him soon enough. Don't you worry, bud. Coming for you. And you know what? I forgot to note the time that I was recording. Let's try this again. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so when I tore this whole thing apart, I forgot to put this little ladder combo back on. And that's pretty important because uh, we don't want stuff getting in and we certainly need to be able to get in in case we get trapped outside while the day gate is on let's see what's going on there um, okay um, in the meantime let's take a look around here let's see Might have to do some quick. Uh. Yeah, there he is. Uh. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna leave him alone. Uh, and uh. Yeah, sure enough. So it looks like the timings were off slightly on uh. part of this um, circuit, and we've got to debug that because you saw those two buckets in there. That was the set of lava buckets that I'm now going to have to fill back in. Um, and it means that, let's see, if those dropped, then the upper pistons shut and then the um, dispensers activated. So uh, let me just show you that real quick. So, we've got these upper pistons here, the sticky pistons, and they've got some stone brick on them, and it covers up the dispenser during the day. That's to hide the man behind the curtain, if you will, so if you're walking through, you do not see those dispensers. Um, those are supposed to come on when the daylight sensor comes on, and... Uh, they're supposed to be timed such that the dispenser fires. Let's see, when the day gate goes on, the dispenser fires first, pulls in the lava, and then these retract, or uh, actually extend and cover this up. But, um, and then at night, the reverse happens. These contract, and then this fires. Now, if these don't retract fast enough and these fire before they're fully retracted, what's going to happen is that the dispensers will fire the lava into these blocks and the buckets fall into the bottom where they are thankfully collected. So I'm glad I at least got that in, but uh, we'll have to play with the timings a little bit before this is fully done. And as you can see, since we have a little zombie child in there, um, it's not quite working. So, um, anyway, let's, uh, you know what else? Yeah, there we go. So it is nighttime now. Um, and see this retracted? The stuff is still out there. And it's still going to be getting in. That's not a good thing. Um... I also realized that in the last episode, I just showed you the switch for turning on and off, and that was for testing purposes. I, I didn't actually put together the daylight sensor. So uh, let's, 
let's take a look at that. It's pretty simple. We've got the daylight sensor. It's open to the sky. Um, we've got glass covering it. That's just for um, cosmetic purposes, if you will. Um, and then it goes down this stair step and into the ABBA switch. Um, and uh, we talked about that two episodes ago, I believe, but uh, the way that works is the signal comes in here um, and it immediately powers this block due to the redstone signal carrying down one block below. And that uh, causes the dispenser to fire. Uh, the signal then travels along this repeater and goes into this block, which powers this signal right here, the yellow. Um, and when this signal comes on, there is a rising edge detector on the yellow. So when the signal comes on, it fires, um, and that pushes those uh, closer pistons to get rid of any lava that might be hanging out, which currently isn't happening because there is no lava. Uh, the signal then travels from this block into uh, this repeater, which is currently set on a two tick delay. So it takes what one, two, and then comes over here to this block, um, which powers uh, the green one, a uh, green circuit, and that is the bottom pistons, okay, which open the hole at the bottom of the gate to accept the lava and catch any mobs that might fall as we see now with the child zombie. The signal then goes from this block into this repeater which is set on a four tick delay and that then powers this block which powers the red circuit and that is a direct circuit into the top pistons. So the two direct circuits are the green and red. No no special um, gates or anything required for them. The yellow has a rising edge detector, and I'm not sure if I mentioned where I got that from. I did put it in a link um, on the uh, YouTube upload, um, but I will mention it for sure. I got it off the Minecraft forum. I found a topic there that has a huge list of Minecraft circuits, or uh, redstone circuits, pardon me, um, and this was one of the more compact vertical uh, rising edge detectors. There were a number of others that were horizontal, but this entire setup is vertical. You see the vertical ABBA switch, ABBA switch, um, and, then there, and then I'll show you the vertical dual edge detector as well, but I wanted to go with vertical rather than trying to mix um, mix the, the types, if you will. Now, I also failed to mention, see this, we'll call this the episode of things I realized I forgot to mention. Um, this dual edge detector, I did not get it from the same forum posting. There are a number of other dual edge detectors available. Um, and, but this one I saw, you know what, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure where I saw it. I think it could have been Seth Bling or Etho, or, but uh, I saw it and I knew that's what I needed, and it's in the arrangement that I needed, so um, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Uh, I may have explained it a little bit. You see this uh, torch right here, that's part of it. Right now, the piston is contracted, and it's got a redstone block there, which sends out a redstone signal. It goes into the redstone dust on top of this one, and on top of this one. Right now, it's merely inverting the signal, because once that signal comes down to the redstone here, uh, this thing turns off. Normally it's on, this time it's off, okay? And then... I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, there you go. Right there, the redstone dust. Yeah, I won't be able to do that because you see the half slabs here. Um, there is redstone dust on top of these two blocks, and that is not powered currently. So what's going to happen is when the signal comes on at daytime, the piston here is going to extend. It's going to cut off 
um, temporarily this signal which will then allow this redstone torch to turn on and that turns on the whole circuit all the way up to the dispensers which kicks off the dispensers then this redstone block comes to here okay and just extends down one block and it powers the redstone dust here okay um, that redstone dust and takes a signal from here to here and into this block which then inverts the signal turns this off and that turns the circuit back off um, vice versa when the daylight sensor turns off at nighttime this piston contracts uh, and it comes out of contact with this redstone dust comes back up temporarily turns back on that piston or that uh, redstone torch over there comes back up and powers the redstone dust here which then inverts the signal so we get a pulse of uh, redstone signal just a pulse so it turns a, a full signal from that daylight sensor into a, a pulse whenever the signal turns on or off and that's what we wanted for those dispensers because we wanted them to fire um, both at night and daytime now for some odd reason the dispenser and the shutoff switch up here are uh, slightly messed up. And uh, we'll be back with another episode. Hopefully I will have this uh, debugged by that time and can show you uh, a little bit better. And then I can also show you the XP farm that is really the whole point of having this gate right here. So we can get to and from the XP farm a lot more easily than um, than we used to be able to. So anyway, uh, that is it for now. Um, let me switch here. Oh, and you can't see my my uh, my skin. So I'm fully armored up. Okay, I'm gonna sign off for now. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.